Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and today we are going to do a very requested video here on the SMA world, and that is how to build one of these statues. Now, you guys have been asking me for a long time how to build these different statues that I've made inside my hall, so you guys could do it yourselves, and today I'm going to teach you, so we will get right into that, but before we do that, guys, if you could leave a like down below, make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you like to see more videos every single day, that's what we do here so guys make sure you do do those things and without further ado we will get right into this but let's try to get 500 likes on this video hit that bell as well um if you want to receive notifications of when i put new videos which is every single day but guys without further ado let's build one of the new characters that i will be putting in to my world um, and this will be the newest character so there's also sort of a sneak peek for something that will be coming uh, in sma um, but uh, you guys wanted to request this video. I'm building it now. So unfortunately, I have to record it um, while we are doing it right now. So basically, the new character will be going right here uh, where this little um, thing is right here. Let's get out of, uh, I don't know why I'm in creative mode or survival mode. Well, let's get out of there so we can actually do the building. So the day, the person that we'll be building, um, which, you know, may or may not spoil what's going on. But uh, you guys wanted this video, so is dry bones we are going to be making making a dry bones statue inside the hall so i'm very excited for that so the first thing you're going to want to do is basically have some nice spacing plans um, around the area and i think for this one uh what we are going to do is actually build it um this way like toad and bowser jr are in the front uh because then they all look sort of crowded so i think instead uh, what we're going to do back here is have one here um one over there and then we're gonna have them in the back as well so we can at least fit five more because if we line them all like this they're gonna be way too crowded so i think right here uh, is where i'm going to build dry bones right in this plot um right here maybe we could have two back and then three across i, I don't know something like that but the first thing you want to do is look for the block so if you look at the bottom you're that's where you're going to start on the bottom you're going to need sort of a orangey looking block i'm trying to see you got to sort of match up the color of um, what you think is the best and i think it's kind of like that um this one right here but I think I'm going to have to go with that one. All right, so we'll start with end brick, or end stoned brick, as this is called. And what you want to do is make a four, um, two for the feet. You make two things that are four by four. So one like that, and then you want the other one a little bit ahead. So you'll do like that. So there you go, you have two four by four little things, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is the legs. So then you need the actual colors of what you're trying to do. So going up, it's a lot of gray. So let's try to go get, just grab um, a lot of gray-like colors. So there's the white, those are some grays right there. Go to wool, grab the white wool. There's no light gray wool, but there's a dark gray. Um, so it looks like a lot of this is gonna have to be uh, white because uh, that's just a lot of the blocks that we do have uh, available. There's not a lot of um, grayish wool, unfortunately. Uh, so for those socks right there, or for his little um, boot thingies, I think what I'm going to do is use um, this color. Uh, wait, where is it? Actually, you know what we should use? I just thought of something. This. That is what we're going to use. So, for the force four, uh, we'll put it up. And we're going to need those stones. Because usually I put a little extension to make them sort of a foot pattern. So you can put it out like that. And then after, what you want to do is sort of get the packed ice. And you're going to want to do a thing of four uh, just like this that and i'll do one leg um and then i'll cut the video so you guys don't have to watch the second leg um and then you guys basically will know how to make it that way the video is not too long uh, but you're going to want to do a thing of four like that because that's how much they go up and then after that i'm going to use the uh the white hardened clay to um, make the rest of his legs so then after that he's a layer of white but as we start doing the layer of white i'm going to start going out to make him a, a sort of kneecap uh, like structure after that he sort of has um some bone like things like this so this is when we're actually going to start moving out with him so he has like sort of that like structure so what you can do if he has a structure like this is you'll actually put this one back like that um and then this one also uh like that and what you can do is get your uh white thing that you were working with before and you could start actually shaping uh, his bone so then after that it's just the regular uh, one that we were using before um, and then this is where you're going to sort of make your uh, what I like to call the kneecap design uh, which would sort of be like that and then the rest of the the leg you can just sort of make out and then where it sticks out you want to cut in 
So where the bone sticks out on the other side, that's where you want to cut in on this side uh, to sort of make the, the illusion that is um, a leg is sort of bent a little bit, uh, sort of like the other ones are. See, see what it's like that, where it's out, it's actually coming in as well. Um, so after that little thing, we have another, uh, you can count the pixels, sort of. If you look close enough, you can count those pixels. Um, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five more after that. So we have, um, after the top one, one, hold up. I can't see it from here. Um, but you guys can sort of see, you try to get it as close as possible. It's going to be five, five from this one. So we have one, two, and then we can do uh, three. Um, what is that? That's one, two, correct? It's one, two, three and then four and five. So this will be the five that we actually need to complete the, the leg uh, structure of this. Um, <clears throat> and once you do that, you're gonna basically have your leg structure uh, and then you're gonna wanna kick it out uh, sometime as well back here to get that four by four shape at the top. So you wanna make sure you end with a four by four shape. So now that I've done the one leg, I'm gonna go and do the other leg and I'll show you guys that when it's done. All right, and here we have the two legs that are finished and done. So now that you have the two legs, you're going to want to work on the torso. Now, he is a. this is where I actually suggest going in. I know I just got rid of all my blocks, but uh, you're going to want to get a potion of a night vision, especially if you're in a dark hall, especially like here, and you're going to want to splash it on yourself and keep that potion of night vision uh, handy. That way you can actually see what's going on, and now you guys can see sort of better what's going on. But next... <coughs> We're going to do dry bones, sort of very unique body. I'll show you guys how to do the front, and then I'll probably do the back uh, by myself, since it's just a simple, uh, you know, turtle-like design, uh, or shell-like design. And we're going to use some uh, wood planks for this uh, sort of design. So now that you have the, the main design, where his feet uh, should have actually came together. All right, so I did mess up a little bit. Hold up. Hold up with this. Uh, I actually did mess up, and that's where you guys could sort of see, because I did not uh, mention this fact. So let me go get my... Um, my my white block you want the legs to come together at a point and I actually totally forgot to mention that but you definitely want the legs to come forward enough to actually meet at a point uh, in the center so if they're more like that um, and let's try to uh, rearrange this a little bit um, if they're more like that then it's going to the uh, the better it's going to actually um, end up looking uh, for your um, for your design because uh, then you will have more of a uh, defined leg and then in the back of course you have to sort of fix it up so the leg does sort of meet at that point which I'm going to do by doing that and then uh, once those meet basically what you can do is start on your design um, I know this has some darker colors but uh, since Minecraft does not have the full array of colors uh, that we would need to do that we're just going to go easy so especially for dry bones you just sort of follow the, uh, the block pattern uh, that they have set up um, on his actual actual thing so uh that would be the first structure if you see right there uh, actually with another layer uh, that's my bad i did forget that layer um the next structure uh with of course the blocks extending uh to the back um and that's where the shell is actually going to come in because the shell does not go on the back it actually comes off the back and I'll, I'll show you guys that when i actually finish it and then from there uh you're just gonna go block up and uh, basically design the torso uh, just like how it is on Minecraft. Find the blocks that best mit fit the color. That's whatever really you think you look best. For example, Mario, we use the dark blue, um, but some people have used like the teal because they think that looks better. I think the dark blue looks better. It's all a matter of what your opinion is, uh, what you think of it. Um, and yeah, so then from there, uh, Dry Bones ends like that. Uh, and that is his full front of the body and I'll actually show you the back because we do have some uh, time here so uh, let me show you the back so from the back I think I'm going to start off with some uh, wool right there um, I'm also going to get that same color we were using before probably both of these it looks like uh, to do this design on the back uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is probably uh, from the where the torso uh, meets which is right there you're going to want to do the full outline of the shell uh, which is on there. Oh, I actually forgot to put these back as well. If you guys were yelling at me to do that, I did forget to put uh, these back as well. So let's go put those back into position. There we go. And then put these over here back into position. And this one as well over here into position. And then uh, we'll get these white wool go all the way up to the top layer and I like I said that is when you're going to need your actual uh, splash potion but I will cut it here guys uh, and I will show you the entire design uh, when we are done. 
And there you folks have it, the back oven. I have to make his tail a little longer. I forgot about that part before. I uh, gotta put out his tail a little tiny bit. Uh, but yeah, there's his tail. He's got his entire shell on him, uh, detailed. So you guys can get a good look at that if you're trying to make that. Uh, that's the uh, the detailing on the shell. Actually, I think I may have forgotten a little. Nope, that's, that's, that's it, that's all of it. Um, so yeah, that's the detailing on his shell. Um, and now we will try to attempt to make his face uh, which we will use this box for. So basically what you want to do, uh, like any other statue, you want to get your uh, four blocks, which I believe are one, two, three, four. That's what you want to do and go two off of each side and you're going to make a solid uh, base structure um, off that. So you're going to do your, your main four and then two off to get that sort of overhang uh, Minecraft uh, you know, skin. I've done a lot of uh, statue building in my days. If you ever watched CMA or any of those series, had a lot of statue building involved. So I've gotten good at it, and I know that those are the dimensions uh, that we use. Of course, he has a nose just like Yoshi, so we'll go measure Yoshi's nose as well uh, to actually um, see how much far uh, it comes off. And unlike Yoshi, I believe, if you guys could also look at it at this angle, uh, his nose does not come off. He actually goes up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Uh, this one does instead of the the full amount. Um, oh no, it is it is actually the full amount. Is this comes up? Is his head actually shorter? His head is one, two, three, four, five, six instead of eight up. All right, that's what I missed. All right, that's what I did miss. Um, so he's not like Yoshi. Uh, he actually has. Um, Yoshi's comes out one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do that as well. So basically, guys, what you want to do here, um, and I'll, I'll put on some night vision so you guys can continue sort of seeing uh, the work that I'm doing, is go one, two, three, four. Um, we'll go four out for dry bones. That looks about correct. Uh, go all the way over to sort of get him to look like that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go up one, two, three, four, five, six uh, on the entire thing, all the way around, uh, put him up to six. Uh, because that is basically uh, how far he goes up, and then he has his little eye sockets uh, that do stick out. So we will uh, do that as well. But uh, I will show you guys when I'm fully done with the head. So there you guys have it. There is Dry Bones' head uh, on his body. So you guys can see the detail all around it with the shell and everything. Uh, that is how you build his head. Finally, guys, we're going to have to do the arms, uh, which is easy. You're only going to need two blocks for the arms. Uh, you're going to need this color right here, and you're going to need that packed ice for his glubbies. Uh, so guys, what we're going to do now is I'll show you how to do one arm, and then I will uh, show you how to, uh, to make the other. So basically, um, and then I will uh, teach you, uh, basically, um, or show you the other arm, because I don't want to show everything uh, right now, because that would be a million hour video. So you want to do a 4v4 um, on the, the side right below uh, his head. So you're going to go like that. And then you're going to cut the corners out to sort of give it a more uh, realistic feel to it. Uh, from there, you're going to go down and basically just shape an arm. Um, and it could really be in any position you want. You don't have to follow uh, what I do. But for this one, we're going to do a simple arm uh, for you guys so you guys can really understand uh, how to do arms. Um, and basically, you're just going to go like that. Uh, he can have his arm bent at some point. Um, and then from there, uh, he can have his arm uh, fully bent. And I'll do the other one in a different fashion uh, so you can see. But from there, we'll have his little glove uh, that he has off of him. Uh, and then from here, this is also a 4x4, four four, just like the legs were. Uh, that way, you guys can... Uh, they're the same dimensions, because if you don't know, uh, the arms and legs of Minecraft aren't the same dimensions. I know, kind of crazy, but um, same dimensions exactly. So uh, what you want to do from there, you're right at the legs, uh, is just basically form the arm so it actually looks like an arm uh, and has like a sort of realistic feel uh, to it. Um, now where we're going to, oops, I got the wrong block, I don't know why I was using that one. Uh, so you just gotta add some depth to it basically, uh, some different things, uh, and there you go. From here, uh, you can just sort of connect your pieces uh, together. Um, so you go like that, I'm gonna need some some more splash potions, guys. You might wanna have a Mandy at you at all times, because it can especially get dark uh, in some of these areas. So uh, we're gonna do that, there we go, get all that. And there uh, is one arm, or as I like to do, I do like to punch out uh, the little corners. So you do have one arm of dry bones. And now let's put on the other arm to finally complete him. So we will put on the other arm, guys, and I'll show you that when it's done. 
All right, guys, so there it is completed for the second arm. I decided to do sort of like a punching motion, so it looks like he's doing a sort of a step forward punch. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the entire dry bones and how to build a Mario statue um, inside Minecraft. So you guys did enjoy this. Make sure you do leave a like down below. If you're new to this series, uh, make sure you do subscribe. If you want to see more how to's, uh, let me know what you want to see me build next. Cause you could build stuff like, well, there's dry bones. He's going to be uh, a new character. You guys can build stuff like Bowser Jr., Luigi, Mario. All it is is different layerings over the basic format of, uh, of what it is. So there he is dry bones guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys. Bye.